All right, are you looking to put together a webinar? I have probably hosted hundreds of webinars at this point in my business. They are one of my favorite ways to grow my audience, connect with my audience, teach them what I know, and make sales of my online courses and programs. And what is my favorite tool for putting together really incredible webinar slide decks? Well, it is none other than Canva. So let me walk you through how I put together amazing webinar slide deck presentations every time. All right, so we are here in Canva. Canva is literally my favorite tool for pretty much every graphic, PDF, slide deck, I don't know, most things that we create in my business, we do in Canva. So if you wanna get started with creating your webinar slides, if you don't have a Canva account already, sign up for one, it's free. I do use the pro version and absolutely recommend it, but you can for sure just start off with using the free version. So um, over here, you can see that these are all going to give us like different templates. So if we come here to presentations, the nice thing about this is that these are all ready to go in like slide deck sizing, right? Um, so these are templates for presentations. We can see clearly here that these are like definitely um, webinar slide sort of size. So I'm gonna click on see all. Now this is gonna bring me to a templates page that gives literally hundreds of options. And so if you're starting with, and this can be used for anything you wanna create in Canva, I always start by looking in the templates section and really just look through until I find something that either catches my eye or really works with the, let's say my personal brand or the brand of the presentation or the um, even the, the offer that I'm creating, you know, I want it to have a certain look and feel. So let's say I'm thinking to myself, okay, this looks kind of interesting. I can either star it so that I can remember it and come back to it, or I can click here on preview this template. And what that does is it's gonna show me the different slides that are included. So in this particular presentation template, there are 10 different slides that are really cool. And you know, these are designed really beautifully and might be exactly what I am looking for to kick off my new webinar slide deck. Now, the other cool thing is they have like recommended picks. Um, so if you've chosen this one, it's sort of like, you know, when you're shopping on Amazon and it's sort of suggesting other things that you might like, that's what Canva is doing here. So if that one isn't exactly for you, scroll down here because Canva is now understanding the type of thing that you're looking for. And, you know, it might be one of these ones or one, you know, this one here that is actually what you might be interested in looking at. And so you can click on preview this template and go through and see if these are working for the types of slides that you wanna create. So this one you can see all of that movement are actually animations within this slide deck, which might be something you wanna have for your webinar. It might also not be, like if it feels too distracting, right? So this is where I always start, is with some sort of, um, I think I've actually used this one before, some sort of slide deck. So when you've found one that you want to use, all you need to do is click on customize this template and it will open up for you in your Canva files. And then it's just a matter of popping in your information, your content, your own imagery into this deck. So what's cool is that this particular presentation template came with 25 different slides here, which is pretty incredible. So let's say I want to add, you know, this slide and then I want to switch to something like this one, right? It's just a matter of adding these in with the simple plus signs. And then I can come in here and, you know, edit whatever I want to say. <laughs> um, if you want to pull in graphics, if you want to change up the, let's say you want to change up this image, 
All you need to do is come on over. Um, I might look for a photo of a woman at work. Let's see what it pulls up. Any of these ones here that have pro means that they are only available to those with a pro plan. So you'll have if you don't have a pro plan, you need to look for ones that don't have it, like there's one that doesn't. Um, so we pull that over and simply pop it in there. And if you wanna move it, you can. Uh, really, really simple to go ahead and make this webinar deck your own. Just quickly show you what my actual webinar slide deck looks like. And the great thing is once you've created one webinar slide deck, you can just duplicate for any other webinars you create. If you look at this one of mine, it is giant. It is 159 slides, which is absolutely ridiculous. Um, but it is something now that I feel well, first of all, really confident giving this webinar. I've given it lots of times. And also I can duplicate this and change the content out for different things that I'm teaching or different courses that I'm launching, which feels really great. So I wanted to take you through at a very high level some of the big things that, that I do in a webinar to make sure that it converts. And there's kind of five different sections of a webinar that you wanna be thinking of. And the first section is your introduction. So in the introduction, I like to come in with some really strong social proof right off the bat, like you can see in these slides, that are demonstrating the result that your audience member wants to get. You are showing them right off the bat that it is possible, okay? So that is letting them know, yep, I know what you want and I've gotten it for myself and I'm here to teach you um, how to do it, right? And then you wanna introduce yourself um, in this introductory section, maybe talk a little bit about, you know, your credentials, like make it very clear that you're legit and, um, and you know what you're talking about. And then I like to mention who the class is for. So we want them to feel seen and called out in a way that makes them feel like, yes, okay, this is exactly for me. This isn't for, um, you know, other folks like this, this class is tailor made for me. And so you want to do that in your introduction. Uh, I like to also give them a sense of the agenda in terms of what it is that they're going to be learning during the class and even seed the offer that I'm going to be pitching at the end of the webinar. So that's your entire introductory section. Okay. The next section that we get into is the main part of the webinar, which is your teaching section. And I always like to think about my teaching section from an angle of three mini trainings. Now, these mini trainings that you teach on, these could be addressing mistakes that your audience is currently making when it comes to you know, the thing that you teach about. It could be myths in your industry and really breaking down those myths. It could also be really sort of crushing the objections that people might have to purchasing your course. There's So there's some nuanced ways that you want to think about going through um, the teaching portion of your webinar. The idea being at the end of the teaching section, they're feeling like, okay, this is an amazing way to solve the problem. I have an understanding now of why I want to solve the problem that particular way. And now I need to purchase this course or this program or this offer that is going to teach me the how. And it's going to give me all the tools I need to solve the problem and to get the result, right, that they're promising. So you wanna think through that as you are creating these three training sections uh, and what those might look like for you. So I'll skip ahead a little in my slides here. I have a lot of slides with my training section because I do a lot, of, a lot of teaching on my webinars. I want people to feel like it was incredibly valuable for them to come to that class and to spend some time with me, whether or not they purchase my offer, right? So the third section of the webinar is the transition section. So this is just very simply a couple of slides where you're going to transition from the teaching portion of your webinar and into the pitch portion of your webinar. And so I do that by just asking a couple of questions. 
I ask a couple of questions that people are going to, like my ideal audience is going to be nodding their head and thinking, yep, that's me. Yep, that's me. Yep, that's me. And then I transition into, okay, great. My offer, which in this case is my program Course Creator School, it gives you that solution, right? And then I move into the fourth section of my webinar, which is the pitch. So this is where I am going to let people know exactly what I'm offering. What does my course include, right? Um, what are the bonuses? How much does it cost? What are the FAQs? All of that stuff I am doing in my pitch section. Now, the fifth and last component of the webinar that's really important to include, but it doesn't necessarily have to come at the end. You can embed it within the teaching section or within your pitch section, is your unique signature methodology or approach that you teach inside of your course. And so mine is embedded here within my pitch section, and it's where I go through my sold methodology and I explain my sold methodology so that my potential buyer really understands how I teach what I teach, okay? So that's the fifth section is your, it's kind of like your unique selling proposition and you embed that either within your training section or your pitch section like I have here. So within the pitch section, you also just wanna make sure that you go over any FAQs right? You want to really address any potential questions or objections that your viewer is going to have. It's much better if you're able to think of them ahead of time and address them right within the slide deck. Now, at the end of the pitch, one way that I really like to end things is by including case studies or testimonials. It's really nice to end on that kind of inspirational note of demonstrating that, you know, what you sell works, right? And they want to see themselves reflected in those testimonials and think to themselves, hey, I could be that next student success story, right? And I end with a couple of inspirational questions and get them excited about taking that next step with me and then end it with, you know, an exciting slide that makes them want to jump into my offer. So there you have it, the five sections of a really successful webinar, your introduction, your teaching section, the transition, the pitch, and your unique signature approach embedded somewhere in there and you want to download it or save it to your computer to give, let's say in a live webinar, which like let's say you're doing that over Zoom or Webinar Jam or whatever software you choose, it's really easy to do so in Canva. You're just gonna click on share, there's a download button here, and you can download them as a PDF. That's typically what I would do. It downloads them into one giant PDF document that you can share. I'm gonna click on all pages, right? Make sure everything is selected. And it's just taking a minute for this to populate, I think because I have 159 slides in this particular document. But once this download button becomes purple, I can click download and it just immediately downloads to my file folder on my computer. Now, if I was wanting to actually record my webinar using Zoom, you can do that right here in this present and record option. This might be only applicable for pro users of Canva, um, but you can click on present and record and it will put your head in the corner like that and you just go to the recording studio and you're able to do all of your recording and save it as a video file right in, right in Canva. And that's it. Now you know how to use Canva to make an incredible slide deck presentation. And the best part is that you can then, it saves your slide deck in your Canva account, right? And you can duplicate that slide deck anytime you're going to give a different presentation. You can change out the slide content, but ultimately you can keep that same look and feel so that it stays true to your overall brand, no matter how many presentations or webinars you end up giving. All right, that's a wrap for this video. If you wanna learn more about webinars, the strategy, the tech behind them, check out these videos that I have on my channel. I'll see you next time.